In this video, we will learn to perform two digit multiplication using the Niklam method. Let's take the first example 12 into 13. Since both these numbers are closer to 10, we will take the base 10. Now all we have to do is find the difference between each of these digits and 10. So 12 minus 10 gives you 2 and 13 minus 10 gives you 3. Now all we have to do is multiply these two digits. 3 into 2 gives you 6. Next we have to add 12 and 3 or we can add 13 and 2. You will notice that either way it is 15. Let me repeat. So you can either add 12 plus 3 or 13 plus 2. So either way the answer is 15. So therefore 12 and 13 is 156. Let's take another example. Let's multiply 97 and 96. Both these numbers are closer to 100. So this time we'll take the base as 100. So 97 and 100 minus 100 gives you minus 3. 96 minus 100 gives you minus 4. Now all we have to do is multiply these two digits. 3 into 4 gives you 12. Next, we add 97 and minus 4 or 96 and minus 3. Either way, we will get 93. This is the answer. Let's take another example. Let's try and multiply 99 and 98. Both these numbers are closer to 100, so we take the base as 100. Subtracting 99 and 100, we get minus 1. 98 minus 100 is minus 2. Now what we do is we multiply these two numbers, minus 1 into minus 2, the answer is 2. I will add one zero here. This zero is for the tens place. If the base is 100, the, multi the product of these two digits, minus 1 and 2, should give you two digits. So therefore it's 0, 2. Now all we do is subtract 99 minus 2 gives you 97. I'll take another example. Let us multiply 68 and 99. Both these digits are closer to 100. Therefore if we subtract, we get 68 minus 100 gives you 32. And 99 minus 100 gives you minus 1. So we have to multiply these two numbers. Minus 32 and minus 1 gives you 32 and 99 minus 62 or 98 minus 1 will give you 67. That's the answer. Let's take these two numbers, 102 and 98. Both these numbers again are closer to 100, so we take the basis 100. If we subtract 102 and 100, we get plus 2. 98 minus 100 gives minus 2. Next, we multiply these two numbers. Plus 2 into minus 2 gives you minus 4. So instead of writing minus 4, what I will do is, I will, I will write it as 4 bar. Since it's the base is 100, I'll add another 0 before it. Now all I have to do is 100 minus 2 gives 1, 0, 0. Now this obviously is not the answer in decimal form. What we must do is we must subtract 04 from 10,000 that is 10000 minus 04. This can be done mentally the answer is 9996. Let's take some more examples. The first one here 47 into 48. Since both these numbers are closer to 50, that's our base, 50. Subtracting 47 and 50, we get minus 3. 40 and 50, we get minus 2. We multiply these two digits, minus 3 and minus 2, we get 6. Now we have to add 47 and minus 2, 48 and minus 3. Either way, the answer is 45. 
Now this is not the answer. Although we have selected a base 50, in a sense our real base is 10. Therefore, this number 50 is 5 times our real base. So we have to multiply this into 5 as well. Let me repeat. Although we have selected 50 as our base, our real base is 10. 50 is 5 into 10, that is 5 times 10. And when we multiply this, we get 2, 2, 5, 6. And that's the answer. Let's take another example, 21 into 3. In this case, our base is 20. So when you subtract, we get plus 1 and plus 3. Plus 1 into plus 3 gives you 3. 20 plus 3 gives you 24. Now again, we have to multiply this number by 2 because in a sense, our real base is 10. So since 20 is 2 times 10, we have to multiply this number by 2. Therefore, we get 4 8 and this number is as it is 3 that's the answer one last example 62 and 67 both of these numbers are closer to 60 therefore we take 60 as our base this will be plus 2 plus 7 you should know by now how this numbers come 7 into 2 gives you 14 so it will be 4 carry 1 62 plus 7 gives you 69 since 6 times 10 gives 60 we have to multiply this number by 6 69 into 6 we get 414 with our original carry and this, thing, and this number 4. So therefore, the answer is 4, 1, 5, 4. Now go through the steps again. 62 into 67. First, we chose the base 60. We subtracted 62 from 60, we get plus 2. 67 from 60, we get plus 7. We multiply. 2 times 7 is 14. So, so you got to carry here and 4. We add 62 plus 7 gives 69. We multiply it by 6, we get 414. Add it to the carry, we get 415. So the answer is 4154. 4154. One final example 33 into 29. We take the base. 30. And once we subtract each each number from the base, we get plus 3 over here. That's 33 minus 30 gives plus 3. 29 minus 30 will be minus 1. We multiply these two digits, we get 3 minus 3. So we'll put a hyphen over it. Next, we add 33 and minus 1, we get 32. Now this number is not the final number. We have to multiply by 3 because in a sense our real base is 10. Right? So all we have to do is multiply 32 into 3 it gives 96. And this is 3 bar. This is equal to 960 minus 3 which is 957. That's the answer.